Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss how to search in a row wise and column wise sorted matrix. So the problem statement says that we will be given with a matrix of size n cross m filled with integers. We have to find whether an integer b is present in the matrix or not. Also, the matrix is sorted both row wise and column wise in increasing order. Now let's try and understand with example. A is the matrix and B is the target value which we have to find. Now if we pick any row in the matrix, we will see that they are sorted. Also if we pick any column, we will see that they are also sorted. Thus the matrix is sorted both row wise and column wise. Now as our target value is 4 and we can see that 4 is present in the matrix. So we will return true as our answer to this example. Now let's see how we will solve this problem. Now the brute force approach to solve this problem would be traversing through each element of the matrix and searching for the target. But this will not work in an interview because the time complexity will be O of n into m that is order of n square. Another approach will be by using binary search. As every row is sorted, we can apply binary search on every row and search for the target element. Hence, our time complexity will be O of n into log m, that is order of n log n. But we have another approach which can solve this problem in linear time complexity. And in an interview, it is better to come up with the most optimal solution. So let's see how we will solve this in linear time complexity. Suppose we are at the top right corner of the matrix, that is the cell with the value 3. As the column is sorted, Going down, we will only get the elements greater than or equal to 3. Also, as the row is sorted, going left, we will only get elements lesser than or equal to 3. Thus, we can make following two observations. For every particular cell value, going down, we will get greater numbers and going left, we will get smaller numbers. So now, if I have to find the number greater than 3, I can avoid the elements present in left of 3 in the same rows, that is the elements with the value 1 and 2. We will use this observation to compare every cell element with the target and move accordingly starting from the tight top right corner. So let's solve this example. At first we are at value 3. So as 4 is greater than 3, so we will move down and we are at 6. Now as 4 is lesser than 6, we will shift left and now we are at 5. As 4 is lesser than 5, we will again shift left and now we see that we have arrived at 4 and thus we will return true. Now let's look at the code. We are given with the 2D vector A and an integer B that is our target value. N represents the number of rows, M represents the number of columns and we are taking two pointers i and j for tracking rows and columns respectively. So initially i is at 0 and j is at m minus 1 which is representing the top right corner. A while loop will work until we have found the element or we are out of the boundary of the matrix. If we got the element we will return true. If the cell value is greater than target we will shift left and if it is lesser than target we will move down. Now if the element is not present, then the, while will loop, then the while loop will terminate according to the boundary condition and we will return false. Now let's try and run with an example where the target element is not present in the matrix. So at first we are at 3. As 3 is lesser than 8, we will move down. Now we are at 7 and as 7 is lesser than 8, we will again move down. Now we are at 15 and as 15 is greater than 8, we will shift left and we move to 12. Now as 12 is greater than 8, we will again shift left. Now as 9 is also greater than 8, we will again shift left. And this time my j value will be minus 1 which will terminate the while loop. And finally we will return false. Now the time complexity to solve this problem will be O of n plus m which is order of n. And the space complexity will be O of 1 because, you have, because we are using constant space. So this was all about the problem. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.